know the game, know the game, know the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can join the notification game and never miss an upload. What's up players, it's Ida Wild and we're back in the New England Patriots with another play breakdown to help you with your New England Patriots scheme. Can you guys hear me? Maybe I gotta turn my headphones up. So we're in a single back bunch ace and the, an important thing to note is the personnel. It's a two wide receiver, two tight end, one running back personnel and that's gonna help us build this scheme into something that's pretty good if you have the right personnel. So the play we're gonna focus on today is four verticals, not the, the, the trickiest or the least well known play, but it's a pretty good play for this reason. One, it is pretty good against cover three. And here's the cover three setup. You simply just block your running back. So triangle a Y, select your running back, and then R2 to pass block. Now what you want to do to make this effective against cover three is you want to motion out Will Fuller, pull him out to the right, and then while he's still motioning out, you motion snap him. So you motion him out to the right, while he's still moving, snap him. That's gonna force that uh, that curl flat defender to make a decision. Either he's gonna guard the wheel route by the tight end or the wheel route by Fuller. So once again, I mean, you don't even have to block your running back. You can throw him on a swing route because this pass is so quick. You just simply make a read. If he goes over to guard Fuller, you pass it to Griffin. If he guards Griffin, you pass it to Fuller. Motion him out, go out there. He stayed out there for Griffin and you throw it out to the sideline. Obviously you can throw a little bit quicker if you want to, but that outside corner should not be able to make that play. And that's, and that's what you're hoping on. So once again, you throw it out there. He wants to guard to the outside, so you throw it to the inside. And so a way that your opponent can stop that is that he can go cloud flats, right? He can go cloud flats and go ahead and, and what, what's gonna do is gonna force that outside guy, that flat, is most of the time he's gonna go out and guard Fuller. So if he knows that his flat defender is gonna take Fuller, then he can guard Griffin. And I'm gonna show you another setup to counteract that. So you see here, once again, we run this play, but this time the, the flat defender is gonna go out there to Fuller. So in reality, your opponent would guard Griffin and now you that two play read would be set up. So the next setup to, to help to counteract that and to balance it is you want to drag your tight end, triangle a Y, select Griffin, pull the right stick down. Then you wanna either put Fuller on a drag, a slant, or an in route. I prefer an in route. So triangle a Y, select Fuller, and push the D-pad to the left for an in route. And you can block your running back as well. Now what that's gonna do is that while your opponent is focusing, he runs to the outside, now you have a flood concept that's rolling from right to left. You go ahead and throw it here. Obviously, your first read is the, is the tight end on that drag route. You hit that drag route for three to five yards, you hit it. And then Will Fuller's gonna come back around for that in route. And now you have that. So your opponent might shoot out to guard Griffin on that wheel route that he think is coming, but in all honesty, you're running from right to left. And then Ak Akins, is that Akins or Akins? I think it's Akins. He's gonna get open deep down the sideline to the left. So if your opponent stays low, you can go ahead and roll out if you need to and hit Akins down the sideline deep. So you're gonna see here, no one's gonna be with him down the sideline and you can hit him deep down there. So I also have another play set up that's gonna help you guys out with this little formation. So we're back here in the four verticals. Now what you can do if you want to is you can run a play setup like this to where you can still run the wheel routes to the right side and still get Akins open down the sideline. But you have to make sure your opponent isn't blitzing. If you have the upper hand in pass protection, like your your pass blockers are way better than their, their pass rushers and you're, you, should, you know that you're gonna get time in the pocket, you can run this setup against cover three, have your opponent roll out to the right and if your opponent's on the right, he can't cover the left. So you can still hit them down the sideline, but that's if you have pass protection and obviously if they're going against cover three. Against cover two, that same play setup is gonna work to the left, but it may be a little congested on the right. So you see here, this same play setup won't be as effective on the right side if he's rolling with cover two. Cause you see both of those wheel routes are covered. So now you just have to focus on the left, but you still have that drag and in route from the second setup that you can use against cover two. Let's go ahead and drop into cover two right here. That's still gonna be effective. You can still hit, you can still hit all three levels of this play right here. You can hit the drag, you can hit the in route, and then you can still hit that. So that's why I would use them in conjunction. But we also have another play setup that's a little bit wonkier that I think is different enough to where it affects your opponent pretty good. And you can help, you can 
you can you can get some yards with it. So here we have the the HB, not the HB. I almost called it the HB wheel. This ain't split close player. The four verticals play. Now what I would do here is I would drag Fuller triangle to Y. So like Fuller, pull the right stick down. Then I would motion over Griffin. Just go over Griffin and motion him over. What that's going to do is going to create a concept that's kind of like the one we used in PA Shot Wheel from the Gun Trips tight end. If your opponent goes and takes the crossing route, you hit the wheel route. If he takes the wheel route, you take the crossing route. So let's go ahead. Let's set up. Let's say this is the user here, and he's going to go ahead and guard the wheel route. Let's go ahead and emulate this right here. So he's guarding the wheel route. Once again, you got that crossing route by Atkins or Akins. I keep mispronouncing his name. You got Akins on his wheel route, and now I freaking I, I make the same mistake every single time. I always leave the the user on the controller, so that way he doesn't guard it. But you guys see that the crossing route gets open. But if he goes ahead and guards the crossing route, you can have the tight end open up the middle because Hopkins will pull that safety back. And so now you leave your opponent in a situation where he has to choose one, and whoever he chooses is wrong obviously you can mix this up with other stuff that you can use to get the same look from the tight end on his motion to go ahead and confuse your opponent so that way he knows every time you run this play you're not running the same setup so obviously there's runs in this play that you can use that when you motion that tight end you can still do it like there's a halfback wham and an inside zone that you can do like a little motion with your tight end and then snap the ball so that way every time your opponent sees your tight end motion he won't know that you're running that four verticals play but once again like we're focusing on the four verticals today so another way you can set up to where your tight end is motion over but he's not on that same wheel route is you can put your tight end on a slant you put him on a slant you motion him over and then you run a slant you can run a slant you can run double drags you can run a wheel uh, in route and you can run a smart in route so you switch it up whichever route you want your tight end to run that way he doesn't know exactly what it is so if you got a slant coming in from this side then he has to worry about that you can even streak your tight end and then throw hopkins on a route you can throw him on the slant you can throw him on the drag you can throw him on an in route so if he mans up the tight end with another defender let's say he mans him up with the uh, he's gonna say okay i'm gonna use my other middle linebacker to man up on a tight end and then i'm gonna guard the crossing route well, that's all fine and dandy, but now my tight end's going on the street. So you're going deep with the crossing route. Your other middle linebacker's going deep with the, uh, the tight end, but I have Hopkins coming back on an in route. So this is not like a, a, a pretty common play setup. You're not going to see this a lot, but it's effective enough if you switch it up to go ahead and get you some decent yards. So why did I mention the, the, the formation setup, the two tight ends, two wide receivers, and then one running back? Like I did with my last Patriots playbook on like the gun split close, you can audible to other formations that are very effective. So here we are in a single back bunch ace. But since you have two tight ends, you can audible to the gun ace offset, which is a very powerful formation. A lot of people run this formation because it's pretty good. You got the inside zone, you got post, you got levels wide sail, you got PA post shot. So your opponent sees the, the formation set up where you have Let's say, see so you got levels where I sell here. You got PA post shot. And this is some other stuff that I can go into, but this just shows you why I like this, th this personnel. So now you can go in there and you go, okay, your opponent, you can run inside zone on your opponent all day. Cause this is a very powerful run, especially since they buffed the run. That's a very good run that I'm seeing a lot. And it's pretty hard to stop. I was watching like the club series over this past weekend and a lot of people were running this gun ace offset and a lot of the pros were having trouble stopping that play. But that, that's not it. You, your opponent sees two tight ends, two wide receivers. Now he's thinking run and maybe some basic plays. But in the Patriots playbook, you can take it a step further and you can go into the gun empty ace Patriot, which is a five wide formation. So you can literally go from run heavy or run balance to a pass heavy offense in the same formation setup and i'm going to show you just a, i know this is a play about the four verticals but a simple setup that i like to run with this real quick hold on let me set this up my audible's up for the gun empty ace patriot so let's go come back out in that single back bunch ace so you come out here in your four verticals or you can come out here and wham i did a video about wham earlier when i had to lead the way with lorenzo neal 
but this is just a part of the scheme that you guys can set up on your own. If you got a good personnel, you run your four vertical setup, you run your wham, you run your inside zone, then your opponent stops that. Now you're in the gun ace off sled, and you can audible just you just audible back and forth in between different formations, and now your opponent has to guard like 15 different plays at once. And then you can come to the gun empty ace pages. Now you got this play set up. I know this is a video about the four verticals, but I'll show you just the basic setup that I have for this. You go ahead and run this. Just, just run a streak on Griffin and then a slant on Miller. So your first read is the drag, and then your second read is the slant, and then you got the post, which is like a crossing route. So that's why I like this, is because it's pretty dangerous what you can do with it. Not only is the initial play setup to me pretty effective, but the, all the things that you can do by audibling, audible in, audibling in and out to different formations in the pages playbook. But that's it for this video, guys. If you learned something, if you're able to use this to get you some yards online, or you just like the information in general, let me know by hitting that like button. It's going to help this video grow. It's going to help the channel grow. And it shows me now that I'm on the right path. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys showing up. I'll see you guys on next time. I'm out.